you were so open uh, a couple years ago after you won, uh, talking about the, the prior night and just trying to sleep and kind of just everything that was happening. Um, do you think, or how do you think you'll sleep on the lead tonight? Do you think you'll actually get, you know, hours of sleep or what? Yeah, uh, a couple of years ago, I actually got a great night's sleep. Mm. Um, it was just an unusual position for me because at the time, I starting 2022, I hadn't won yet on tour. I had a, had a good Ryder Cup, and I had played a lot of consistent golf, but I still had one on tour. And then all of a sudden, I win Phoenix, um, the match play, and Bay Hill. And then I, I win the match play to get to number one in the world, show up here as number one in the world. And then going into Sunday, I think Meredith and I were just – a little bit emotional about what was going on at the time because our lives were, were changing at a very rapid pace. And I think now we've settled in to a little bit more of, of where our lives are at. Um, and right now, you know, the most exciting thing for us is not winning the Masters. It's, a, you know, a baby coming here pretty soon. And so things are a lot different now, and I feel like we've both matured. But I think a lot of that emotion from, from Sunday morning a few years ago was more about just how quickly our life was, was changing. And it was more of a, are we ready for this type of thing? And, um, yeah, that's when Mary gave me that nice speech, and um, here we are. 